Hey guys, so about two months ago, I got hired at a startup in San Francisco and I want to share what my experience has been like. I would best describe my role as a host slash marketer and I get to meet tons of working professionals from around the world. I can't give away too much information about the company, but I will be talking about some of my general duties, how a startup differs from a well-established company, a bit of what it's like navigating through San Francisco, and then finally finishing off with how I got hired, so stay tuned for that. First, I'll start off with what I do for the company. My boss creates programs and my job is to give presentations to his clients and guide them through it. I will say at first that it was intimidating. I was presenting in front of Stanford Biosciences and Meta Engineers to name a few, and I remember thinking to myself, gosh, this is scary, though I've gotten a lot more used to it now. I also host Zoom meetings for people who want to meet virtually. A lot of what I do is public speaking and just being able to communicate the gist of my boss's programs. All right, now onto the marketing aspect of things. My next main duty is writing blogs and managing the business social media. Typically, I'll spend about two hours writing an article, and every time I meet up with clients, I'll create a celebratory post and tag them on Facebook. Soon, I'll be getting more into videos and hope to get my boss new clients from Instagram and TikTok. All right, now I want to delve into the differences of working at a startup rather than a well-established company. I worked at Panda Express, among other bigger companies, and the most notable difference is that I feel I have a vital role in building something up. It's a lot less structured and I'm constantly adapting to the needs of the business as it progresses. I personally love that feeling because I've always been the type of person to want to build something from the ground up and watch it thrive. Another thing that stands out is that there aren't many employees, and in fact, I'm the only employee right now, though we're looking to hire more people soon. I get more individual attention and I'm able to get to know my boss as a person, but there's also more at stake with my performance. At times, I'm the only one in the office and I have a vivid memory of my boss having to leave early one day and saying he was trusting me with the fate of the business. I know that might sound anxiety inducing, but it was actually a great motivator for me to do my job as best as I can. Okay, onto what it's like navigating through San Francisco. I actually take Bark to Civic Center and I'll use three words to describe the area. Beautiful, but sketchy. I love walking down the streets of SF and seeing the towering skyscrapers. It amazes me every time to see the grand buildings, but on the flip side, Civic Center holds the Tenderloin, which is the most dangerous part of the city. I remember one time I was walking when the police came rushing, and when I turned around, they jumped the guy holding a gun. I was in such close proximity to the scene, and it was definitely a whoa moment. In contrast to the prosperity, just around the corner, there are streets lined with crime and homeless people. And finally, for the last part of the video, I'll be talking about how I got hired. And let me tell you is actually an accident. I wanted to apply for this remote marketing job I saw on Indeed and I was working on my resume when I accidentally left it public. My now boss actually messaged me on the platform and encouraged me to apply to work for him. When I did, him and his co-founder interviewed me on FaceTime, then again in person after the first one went well. Now you guys might be wondering what was actually on my resume, so I'll tell you what my boss said caught his eye. I compiled my previous work history along with any relevant experience, but what sparked my boss's interest was that I worked at a law firm, I had this channel, and I managed two small businesses. I could talk about what my experience was like working at a law firm and managing my two small business in a separate video. One thing I want to leave you guys with is that you should upload your resume onto sites where employers can find you. Aside from Indeed, some other sites would be ZipRecruiter or LinkedIn. My current job was a total accident, but your luck will increase when you put your resume in front of as many people as possible. Alright guys, that wraps up this video. I've really enjoyed working at this startup and I encourage anyone with the entrepreneur spirit to work at one to gain experience because it's such a different vibe when you're able to work with a founder. Anyways, I hope you guys found value out of this and feel free to drop down any comments you might have. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.